Hey YouTube girls, it's a good day. Welcome to the Hot Girl channel. My name is Naomi. Today I'm gonna be showing you all the tips, tricks, basically all the tea on how I get my flawless long stain base. But wait, subscribe. If you've not started shaving your face, try to get into that routine. Especially as an Igbo babe, because we tend to grow like more hair in the face. I like to shave it up because it makes the most fucking difference. It will help your makeup, it help your skincare. For skincare, I think everybody already knows this. For skincare, I use the Uncover. I basically use their whole line. The cleanser, this is the moisturizer. This is the moisturizer. It's literally almost finished. Sunscreen. And this is their toner. But ever since I set my hands on these things, I've just never looked back. I like to apply this when my face is still down. I've literally finished the tube. I just had a funny flashback. Yesterday when I was in school, I got sent flowers. It's currently January 23rd. But I already got my Valentine flowers. <laughs> With a card that says, will you be my Valentine? I genuinely feel like I'm living in a rom-com because this is the happiest I've ever been in my life. One major tip is to let your skincare dry a bit. What shouldn't dry on your face is your primer. Let it dry. I like to make sure that it really goes as close to my edges as possible. Okay, so for priming, this is the MAC Hyperio Serumizer. I basically just glide over my skin. This is the first time I'm using the setting spray. I usually use the Marie Code setting spray, but as you can see, it's about to be done. And I really just want to try this. Elf Dewy Coconut Setting this it smells like coconut oh my god i like it. it smells so fresh tropical vibes i'm just going to let that sit on my face for a little bit this is what i like to do you don't have to do it but this is the omari code matte clock primer i get really oily on my t-zone it feels very tacky already because it's matte this is the max studio radiance foundation i've tried the non-shaking i've tried the shaking whenever i don't shake it when i like put it I, it just looks really clumpy i don't know just something to it i don't know the formula but i know what i'm saying just a little bit i like to darken my foundation a little bit just a little bit i just like my foundation to look a bit darker than my skin honestly i don't know why but i just i like to do it i apply my foundation in very thin personally like to use a beauty sponge with the leftover foundation on my hand I just like rub it in so that it doesn't pick up found it like if i how do i explain this if i touch this I'm already very used to the formula it's very used to my skin so if i use it on my face it doesn't lift it doesn't crack it just sits what i like to do is just press use a dense brush to apply and this is the mac 170 brush it came with the foundation also, it's gone are the days where you don't apply a foundation on your forehead. Why do you want to look too toned? I like to go in with my beauty blender just to... It's usually damp. Not damp. It's really just moist. It's not moist or damp. Damp. Don't just soak your beauty sponge in water and just squeeze it and put it on your face. Your foundation will lift. Your concealer will lift. You put it in water, squeeze it. Put it in a towel or a dry cloth. Squeeze it again. Squeeze that hard if you possibly can. Foundation is down. That looks so good. Oh my god. I have nowhere to go. But the way this face bit is looking, I have to find somewhere to go to after this bit. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Shade 40. When I was like 15, I used to apply my concealer like the whole of this. Like the whole triangle of my face. But then being on YouTube, found that this was a better way to apply. But do I feel like the triangle face is going to come back actually? While my concealer is sitting, I like to do my contour. I feel like this is not dark enough for me, but everybody says it's dark enough. But I feel like it's not just, it's not there. I want to sculpt everything out before like applying, applying. At this point, I forgot what they call this thing in radiography. They call this piece the... Bro, I forgot him. This was legit what they asked. I was asking my viva. It's so crazy. I keep nothing out of sight literally out of mind for me and for school this is about to give skin it's about to give west the makeup and i like to spray down my concealer before blending i like to start on my chin because from the first dab i already know if it's going to eat or if it's not going to eat i squeeze my sponge like this so that it just stays in the same area not like squeezing it so much but you know what i mean for the under eye i like to blend out the outer one first just so that if the inner one is too much i have space to like blend Wanna. make way make way blending my concealer up to my eyelid i saw uche do it, it looked stunning on her that looks so so good 
so i like to go back in again with my foundation brush to just you can see there are some harsh lines so i just blend the harsh lines out a little bit nothing crazy please i feel like i do need a lighter concealer to just do like a brighter under eye this is the first time i'm using this zaron orange blush i just hope i don't regret this please don't make me regret this please please this looks good so i'm gonna put a little bit more this orange blush is just kiss man i'm using the mac studio fix pressed powder to like set my under eye before using my setting powder to bake just going to set all those areas and put concealer on I feel like everybody already knows this powder s pun s girl I'm going to let this sit for like three minutes while I apply my eyeshadow. I'm dusting this off with the MAC pressed powder. Spray it down right now. If you don't know what setting spray does, it just basically removes like the ashiness for it to actually look like skin. So this is what my base looks like right now and this is the finished look. Yeah. Yeah. I feel so proud of myself. Like, uh, I need to go. Out. You know what? I'm going to get ice cream. That I was gonna go to the mall and buy ice cream. I swear. I'm just going to go there and tell them, "Hi, can I get vanilla and um chocolate?" <laughs> because this beat cannot waste. This beat cannot waste. So if you have any more questions, um, ask me in the comments or DM me on Instagram. Don't forget to save, like, share, and subscribe. And if there's anything else you want to see, if you want me to film something else, just let me know. And see you in the next one.